Google tells me I should upgrade if, quote, existing equipment is obsolete. Just one minute. Why does it take as long to load a spreadsheet as it does for some people? FS 2020. Difficult to maintain or hard to get parts for. And I figured out that it's actually eight years old. Existing equipment no longer meets your functional or technical requirements for operation. I think insanity is trying things over and over and pretending you'll get better results. It's going for like uh, three minutes and then just stopping. Do you want to try this another day? I know that's really sad to say. Google also says some other reasons are the cost of maintenance. <laughs> Cooperate! The productivity increase. This is another screen I'm familiar with. And the increase in employee happiness. Whatever that means. Really? Really? Really, 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 really? Ready? Let's launch Kira. I'm gonna run out of foam space. That's okay. Someday it'll work. I'm running almost my entire Captain Bob YouTube operation off of an eight-year-old laptop. Uh, you'll see its battery is even starting to puff out because it's been overcharged and its fan is almost continuously running which is really bad for the fan, uh, really bad for the computer, and it's basically on its last leg. It's really slow, uh, which really adds up. I did the math and it's losing about four weeks of unproductive time just staring at the computer. So, this is pretty urgent as I do have online school so I'm going to be building my own computer. So right now I'm just staying up late being a bad child uh, and doing my computer research because I really want to get a computer that can run stuff as fast as my head can. Uh, I think personally that uh, the computer should think harder than me. What? I, I popped this up like three minutes ago. I've needed to upgrade for a little while, in fact, more than a year. I'm finally taking a step into the unknown and building it. Just to be clear, there are precautions you can take to restore an old laptop to working order. You can go through all the files, uh, delete as many files as you can, you can defragment the hard drive, which is a pretty good step. You can take, you can change components and upgrade it, uh, which isn't really ideal for a laptop. You can uh, you can decrease your settings so it doesn't render visuals. You can do a lot of things to speed it up, restart it often, turn it off, uh, like set a schedule to restart it so it restarts often, uh, run, make it run on its best battery settings. Uh, but even after doing quite a bit of those, it is still just slow as molasses, which is really sad. I will be fair to this, it is a pretty good computer for everything I've put it through. I have some a bunch of CAD programs on it, I have slicers, I have uh, photo editing software, streaming software, uh, coding software, there's uh, Fusion 360, which is huge, Notion, Gerbil control, uh, so CNC stuff, homework apps, uh, and another thing you can do is get rid of as many programs as you can. I've already done this and I'm operating off of uh, basically my minimum. There are a few apps that I've kept even though they're not used frequently. So my goal tonight is to kind of transform this, do all my research for my first PC build, uh, and upgrade this setup. After that, I think it'll just be so much easier to edit videos. Right now I'm actually even editing videos off of the upstairs computer because this computer isn't hard, isn't powerful enough to, uh, to run the editing. 
software. Uh, the upstairs computer, though, does have its issues. It has a bunch of static or noise, I guess. So it, it's really just not good. It's very seldom that I get an opportunity to edit because my schedule doesn't always align with the computer availability schedule. Schedule. I bet you're wondering what my current PC specs are. Uh, I typed it in. It doesn't look like it's loading actually, so I'll have to type it in again. Uh, this will give you a, a little bit of a rough estimate by just seeing this. Hello! Can't see me. Hello! Yep, it's still loading. Um, yeah, whenever you're ready. Yep. Whenever you're ready. Oh, it's an... It literally crashed settings. Okay, so here are my device specifications. Uh, you'll see right here. It's an i5 processor, which is, uh, I guess, doable. It's not the most up-to-date, and it certainly cannot run Microsoft Flight Simulator. There's 8 gigabytes RAM. I don't think my editor can run with 8 gigabytes RAM. Uh, yeah. But the thing I do like about it is the touch the touch screen. That's beautiful. It it runs on Windows 10, and I figured out that it's actually 8 years old. Yeah, it is almost as old as my brother. Get this, my computer was actually alive before the world fell apart. What I started out doing was getting a Google Doc and watching YouTube videos and gradually filling out all of the links, tips, papers, their PC specs, and just getting it all into one place. I just went down, searched best gaming PC, and went down the list to see some familiar faces and some people that look like they're having too much fun. This guy looks kind of familiar. We'll watch this one. Then I filled it all out, and I have lots of links. I'll actually share the paper with you. It's just where I dumped all my research into one document. It has a few tips, and I'll link to it in the description below. My favorite tip is about the graphics cards. The higher number, the better. And also, the more expensive, the better. I think I found the best PC case. Ready? Right here. It's perfect. It has a lot of aeration and ventilation, so it's good for cooling. Um, it's cheap. I could probably put the motherboard next to one of these, these, these holes, and it'd have good circular cooling, and it's cheap. And um, the, the dimension, it's cheap. What I did with my spreadsheet was I basically went through a bunch of videos and basically took their components, uh, added them all up for price. And so here are three different setups that I got from people's videos. Uh, but I also made a very big point to not just go off of these numbers, but to also know what they, all of this means and know how much all of this should cost and the performance I'm going to get out of it. So, after I have these three options, one for about 600, one for 1,000, and one for about 800, I put it into a, all into one sheet, and now I can sift through which components I want, and which ones are just kind of extra fluff that won't be needed, and which ones are too low. So, the good old gold, Goldilocks rule. Gotta get the components that are just right and fit my needs. But I also want to make sure that this is an upgradable computer uh, and serves my purposes that I need it for. The put it together page now looks something like this. I highlighted all of my parts. The bippity boppity boo page looks like this and it has all of my computer parts, the ones I've ordered, and it has this pie chart to see what proportion of the money. Mine is a little bit imbalanced, and I'm going to spend more on the graphics card and CPU than probably good. Okay, it is 1.52, and right now I'm just doing some research 
uh, on all the computer components. Uh, so I put together this fancy spreadsheet. And I have all the tabs here where I can compare parts, uh, compare components, and look for the best ones. There's also some options. I'll try to share this spreadsheet if I can. I can't spell Saturday, apparently. I'm going to go to bed. We'll, we'll call it a night. I bet I can show you just how much my computer has slowed in the last year by just going to lifetime and seeing kind of like how many videos have been posted. You can see here in 2019 that this was actually pretty fluid and uh, it was is working pretty well. But then you can go over to 2020 and kind of see when it kind of fell apart. A lot of this is just due to videos that are stuck in the editing phase because they're just so slow. And in fact, a lot of these are actually streams. So yeah, stream, 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 stream. So really, there have been like three videos instead of 12. I'm a I'm pretty thrifty person. I just try to cut the costs as much as I can just so it's more practical. Yeah, so all of my like thriftiness kind of mind of burst and I think some of that potential energy is turning into kinetic energy. Dang it physics! Okay, so I just got the first wave of computer parts and it was super heckin expensive so and, and now I got no money but it's coming, and I'll have half a computer, which is better than a slow computer, I'm pretty sure. Maybe? Maybe. It's kind of depressing. If if this is a midlife crisis, then I think I'm only going to live to, like, 30, 32, 34. Oh, that's, that's going to be tricky. Oh, well. Also, some of the parts for the computer uh, weren't actually there. They were out of stock, so I just kind of did the old switcheroo and got some different ones. I want to give a huge thank you to everyone who has helped me with this project. There have been tons of people in the Discord server who have helped me select parts, give me advice, tell me when I'm doing stupid, because I do stupid a lot, uh, and just generally helping me out. Go head over and join the Discord, because it's a hoot and a half. Thank you so much for watching. You know the drill, you've watched YouTube. Like, subscribe, share, comment, uh, give someone a cheeseburger, put it on your roof, and drive away, because we're gonna save the day. Check out some of my other videos, and I'm actually starting a series where I build my simulator. Start to finish, I'm introducing it in kind of a different video. Keep tuned for that, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.